SpaceX has once again humiliated NASA, while it solidified its status as the largest private rocket company in the world. Despite being given a limited space to operate when compared to its Starbase facility in Texas, SpaceX has risen to the challenge and shocked NASA with its activities in Florida. Let's talk about all the recent upgrades they have made to the launch site and how they have allowed them to break several records. SpaceX has taken the space industry by surprise with its astonishing activities at Starbase. They've been rapidly building, testing, fixing, upgrading, and expanding various aspects of their operations. While everyone eagerly awaits the launch of Starship 25 and Booster 9, as well as the Federal Aviation Administration's response, there's something equally remarkable happening right in NASA's backyard. Starbase, situated in South Texas, is the world's first genuine spaceport. It serves as SpaceX's hub for developing the next-generation Starship rocket, featuring cutting-edge facilities and launch pads. Within the space community, it's known as the Gateway to Mars, as it will host numerous Starship flights each month. The sheer magnitude of Starbase's infrastructure is unparalleled, surpassing the capabilities of any other rocket company, including NASA, the largest government-run space agency in the United States. In April, Starbase had the privilege of witnessing the launch of the world's largest and most formidable rocket. Furthermore, the site is presently gearing up for the second Starship launch, which is slated for October. Mass production of prototypes and ongoing testing are happening consistently in anticipation of this impending launch. Elon Musk's aspirations for Starship extend far beyond the boundaries of Starbase. He envisions turning Starship into a ubiquitous mode of transportation across the solar system. Elon's objective is to establish a launch network that is even more extensive than one might initially imagine. His initial target for this endeavor is to set up a launch facility in Florida. In late 2021, SpaceX embarked on the construction of the second iteration of Starship's inaugural Florida launch pad. This launch facility, known as Orbital Launch Site 2, remains situated alongside Kennedy Space Center's LC-39A pad, which SpaceX leases from NASA. The reason for this co-location is rooted in NASA's concerns about potential setbacks in the event of a Starship failure. Such setbacks could significantly delay SpaceX's commitments related to its Crew Dragon and Falcon Heavy contracts with NASA. Consequently, SpaceX placed a lower priority on advancing the development of Starship's Florida launch pad, which resulted in a deceleration of progress. Nevertheless, over 13 months, SpaceX has achieved substantial milestones at this site. They have laid the foundations, made modifications to one of Pad 39A's massive spherical tanks to store cryogenic methane, established extensive plumbing systems, constructed and erected a second towering Starship launch tower, installed the legs of the orbital launch mount, OLM, and put in place a water deluge system at the Olam's base. Additionally, SpaceX has assembled a significant portion of the donut-like mount of the Olam offsite, constructed a new, larger storage tank, and delivered numerous smaller storage tanks. SpaceX has also achieved another remarkable milestone by completing the fabrication of a pair of massive steel arms. These colossal arms were transported to Pad 39A, attached to a wheeled vehicle, and subsequently installed on the Starship launch tower in Florida. Affectionately nicknamed Chopsticks by SpaceX employees, these arms play a crucial role in what CEO Elon Musk has dubbed Mechazilla. The term Mechazilla encompasses both the launch tower and these arms. SpaceX's vision for Mechazilla is to create a unified system capable of capturing, handling, stacking, and fueling both the Starship spacecraft and its Super Heavy booster, and once fully operational, the tower's arms will possess the capability to perform these maneuvers even in moderately windy conditions. Building the Starship launch tower is, in all honesty, an engineering feat of monumental proportions. Many engineers consider this ground structure to be more challenging than the production of the Starship spacecraft itself. However, SpaceX's commitment to this project is evident not only in the Texas launch tower, but also in the construction of an additional launch tower in Florida during the initial phases of rocket development. Moreover, in Florida, SpaceX has achieved a series of notable records that have garnered attention from rocket companies and space organizations, including NASA. The Falcon 9 rocket in particular has proven itself as a reliable workhorse in the Florida space arena. As of now, Falcon 9 has successfully completed an impressive total of 66 launches. However, it was the 60th launch that marked a significant milestone. Falcon 9 achieved the remarkable feat of breaking the record for the most Falcon flights in a single year, accomplishing this at the close of 2022. This achievement surpassed the previous record, and it all unfolded right at the launch site in Florida. To put it into perspective, this equates to a launch taking place approximately every 3.9 days, a substantial improvement compared to the 2022 average of one launch every 5.9 days. To put things into perspective, by February 12th of 2023, SpaceX had already achieved its 10th launch. By late March, they had reached their 20th launch. Moving swiftly, they hit their 30th launch in the second week of May, their 40th in mid-June, and their 50th and 60th launches in July and August, respectively. In contrast, in the previous year, 
it took until the second week of March 2022 to reach 10 flights, mid-May to achieve 20, mid-July to hit 30, and early September to reach 40. The beginning of November saw them surpass 50 launches in 2022. Considering the pace of these achievements and the 2022 total of 61 launches, it's not unreasonable to anticipate more than 90 missions before 2023 concludes. This year, SpaceX has been heavily focused on deploying Starlink internet satellites into orbit, with nearly 60% of their missions dedicated to this purpose. In addition to these satellite launches, SpaceX has conducted three crewed missions to the International Space Station, ISS, and three Falcon Heavy rocket launches. The primary driving force behind SpaceX's increased launch cadence is its remarkable ability to reuse rocket boosters and first stage components. In July, SpaceX achieved a significant milestone by launching its Falcon 9 booster for the 16th time. Engineers extended the first stage's lifespan from 15 flights to an impressive 20 missions. Furthermore, SpaceX's launch teams have been diligently working to optimize their launch sites for faster turnaround times. At SpaceX's busiest launch site in Florida, the turnaround time between missions has been reduced to less than four days this year. This reduction in turnaround time is crucial, especially since SpaceX's other launch facility in Florida has been primarily dedicated to Falcon Heavy missions and crewed launches, which typically require more preparation time for each flight. In California, SpaceX's West Coast launch site has hosted a total of 18 Falcon 9 missions. However, the Falcon 9 launch site in California has an older design that takes more time to set up for each mission. This is primarily due to its robust back structure, which resembles a vertical gantry structure that stands alongside the rocket during the final countdown. In contrast to their counterparts in Florida, the robust back structures in California do not retract from the rocket during liftoff. This design difference means that the sturdy back structure has to withstand the intense heat and force of the fiery exhaust plume as the Falcon 9 ascends into the sky. Consequently, this exposure to extreme conditions leads to a higher demand for refurbishment between launches compared to the more retractable and protected designs seen in Florida. Despite the challenges posed by the unique design of SpaceX's launch facilities in California, the ground team there has demonstrated remarkable efficiency. They've managed to execute Falcon 9 missions with turnaround times as short as 10 days. Out of the 44 other SpaceX launches conducted this year, all have taken place from Florida. The spaceport in Florida has already supported a total of 46 orbital launches this year, involving not only SpaceX, but also ULA and Relativity Space. This number has already exceeded the 57 launches hosted by the spaceport in the previous year. Officials from the US Space Force's Space Launch Delta East, the agency responsible for overseeing launch operations from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station and Kennedy Space Center, have effectively coordinated their efforts to meet the growing demand for launches. Much of this increased demand is driven by SpaceX. As we enter the remaining quarter of the year, SpaceX has a packed schedule of pre-scheduled launches, not to mention their own Starlink satellite launches. They aim to reach a remarkable milestone of 100 launches in 2023. There are several exciting launches scheduled for the remainder of this year in SpaceX's lineup. First, on October 5th, there's a Falcon Heavy rocket launch planned, and it involves the launch of NASA's Psyche asteroid probe, which will take off from Florida. Later in the year, another Falcon Heavy launch is on the calendar for a mission in collaboration with the US Space Force, set for November. SpaceX also has plans to conduct a Falcon 9 rocket launch carrying a commercial lunar lander developed by Intuitive Machines, a Houston-based company with ambitions of achieving the first privately owned spacecraft landing on the moon. Additionally, there are two resupply missions to the International Space Station, ISS, in the pipeline, both utilizing Falcon 9 rockets. One mission will employ SpaceX's Dragon cargo capsule, while the other will transport a Northrop Grumman supply ship into orbit. Lastly, the Missile Defense Agency has plans to launch the hypersonic and ballistic tracking space sensor mission into orbit later this year, using a Falcon 9 rocket. This innovative sensor is equipped with improved sensitivity, specifically designed for detecting and tracking hypersonic missiles, which pose unique challenges due to their lower heat signatures compared to larger, long-range ballistic missiles, making them more elusive for existing missile tracking satellites. With the speed at which SpaceX is making a name for itself in the orbital launch market, it is just a matter of time until the company needs even larger launch facilities. What do you think? Should SpaceX continue using their pad at the Kennedy Space Center, or should they build their own separate facility in Florida? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.